By now, you should have already begun your investigation into your train carriage. I'm going to go through an example folder that I've made up and cover some of the parts um, to help you with your folder. First thing is a cover page, uh, which should have your name, uh, my name, and um, maybe a little picture. Um, second part is the problem statement, uh, and then you answer these questions. Now these questions can be found from the downloaded uh, investigation cover page, which looks like this. These are the problem statement questions here. And then you answer them. I've not answered them, but obviously you can put your own answers in there. The next thing to add is the beginning of your research. Uh, within class, we did a brainstorm. Um, in this case, I've taken a picture. You can take a picture, obviously, or you could have um, done a bubble us type mind map, or you could even use um, Microsoft Office's own uh, drawing toolbars and, and draw one in, in here, similar. Try and make sure you've, you've got the main idea and you've got more than just one or two areas. You have a, a fairly comprehensive brainstorm. Following on from that, we looked at taking the brainstorm and then kind of putting them into certain categories or uh, subject areas. So you can see on this brainstorm here, for example, um, all these ones are to do with the scale and the dimensions and the actual parts. I would maybe put them down as design. And you can see here, I've made a, uh, a table up and we've put them all in, in this sort of format here. Uh, there's some other ones here, uh, individual items, tools, materials, and the design cycle. From that, you choose overall four areas from this table and then begin to do some um, research and investigation into it. So I've chosen Inventor. Inventor is a, as a, a material, uh, sorry, a tool that you're going to be using up here. Uh, one of the main tools to design or help you design and, and model uh, the, your final design. So there's a little bit of blurb about that. And also what's important is that um, this part here about why you've actually chosen it. Um, this part is really important and it shows that you've actually thought about it and why, you're, why you've chosen um, this particular tool or this particular material or whatever, whatever is your researching. There you go, there's three others, so I've done one, there's three others needed. The next part is existing designs, so all I've done is gone to Google, picked up an image, inserted an image there from one of the websites and written a positive and a negative comment about it. Again, it's in a table, so it's nice and easily laid out, and I would do the same at least four other, uh, at least three other times, so I've got four in total down there and then after that I move on to what's called the design specification and testing. Now design specification is something very specific as the name suggests and it relates to the research you've done and it relates to the research you've carried out previously up here and also the existing designs. So for example, I've written down here, my carriage must carry at least 10 small sticks. And they're obviously going to represent timber. So it's a timber style lorry, uh, carriage, sorry, something in this sort of design. I've not designed anything yet. I'm purely stating what I would like my particular carriage to do. I've also said my carriage must be painted blue. Now that is very specific and relates to perhaps up here where we talk about colour. Um, so the main characteristics of a specification are that it has some sort of numerical value or some sort of specific item that can be measured. Um, so that when we go on to the next part, the testing criteria, um, I, I mentioned I can 
test my final design against the design specifications in this sort of manner. So for example, I can count the number of sticks that my carriage can hold, my carriage design can hold, um, and then I've said it has to be 10, must carry 10. So if it's less than 10, it's satis unsatisfactory. If it's 10, it is obviously that's the, the minimum, it meets the specification or the design specification, and more than 10, if it carries 11 or 12, then it's excellent, it's better than what I, what I need or what I would like. And similarly for the second statement, design specification, if it's to be blue, uh, what I would do is test it with something that I know is blue. So it could be um, a, a paint pot or it could be um, a motor car that is, that is blue um, or another toy that's blue or whatever. Uh, and then I compare it and I say, is it not blue? Then it's unsatisfactory. But if it's blue, then it obviously meets the specification. You can't really get an excellent or a, a better than blue. Is it blue or is it not blue, basically? And the very last section is references. For all the images I've used within my, my um, investigation or uh, document um, research that I've taken from Google or, or wherever, um, I need to re reference those. Also, any books I've used or any magazines, uh, where, it's, where it is, which item it is, and the actual um, link or the, the hyperlink or the reference. By doing all these, you would manage to meet all of the, the main areas that are asked for with your um, investigation criteria A. If you look on the marking key and the task specific clarification, these also go into a little bit more detail um, and also give um, actual figures to help you with the, um, your own um, outcomes. So as you can see, as you go from a level 1 to 2, uh, we're asking for four existing designs, four existing products and two design specifications. Level three, four, um, four similar existing products, uh, and four design specifications. But this also has uh, at least three areas of research, and mentions or acknowledged um, sources of information, which would be your references. Whereas a five, six level uh, has got six existing products, has researched five areas and has six design specifications and also mentioned uh, an appropriate test um, and mentioned the source of in information uh, and the sources of the references. So as you can see for a level 1, 2 to a level 5, 6 the amount that you're asked for increases um, and the amount of detail increases as well. I hope you use these and I hope these help you to create a, a really good, well-rounded uh, investigation um, similar to, to this one here.